Hey guys, and welcome to episode 9 of Raccoon. And so last episode we found the secret door and we finished Gemma's story and it's very it's very cool, very touching. What's these are bushes. Um but yeah, we just crossed town and a visitor. We haven't had visitors here in so long in a long time. What brings you to this side of the forest, friend? I'm looking for Christina. Oh, Christina? She's a good friend of mine. Head east until you see the hot springs. Then follow the stairs down. Her cave is at the very bottom of the well. Oh, the well. <gasps> you are adorable. Okay. I want you. You are mine. You are... I can't help but feel bad for that poor dog spirit. He's been sitting beneath that tree there. I think her name is Poochie. I'm not sure what she wants, but she refuses to move. But I don't dare anger her. Okay, that. thanks for making me sad. Hey there, what do you want? What are you looking at? There's nothing down here. Nothing at all. Um. Okay. Nothing down there. Nothing at all. Got it. Not going down there. Not going down there at all. And some berries, though. Gonna go this way. Oh. Hey. This is a healing spring, you know? Oh, maybe you didn't notice I was here. I do blend in quite well with the water. I'm Kisaburu. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Do you happen to know if Christina lives around here? Why, yes. She does, actually. Just follow the stairs down this mountain. She and her family live in a cave at the bottom of the well. Thank you, Kisaburu. This is a chill place. Alternate universes. Gotta go down all these stairs. Back and forth. There's a little shiny thing. I gotta get a basket to carry it. Let's go up here. There's nothing up here, so let's go down here. Yeah. I think she lives in the well, but she might live in the cave. So let's go to the cave. A. Hey. Why are you in our cave? Who are you? Excuse me, are you Christina? Yes, that's my name. Are you one of the Cubs' friends? Actually, we're on. B we're here b on behalf of Tony. Tony? You don't know him? No, no, I know him. I just haven't seen him in a very long time. He asked us to help him fix something. You showed Christina the broken music box. Tony had that? Yes. Blacksmith Jackie fixed most of it, but he can't fix the spindle inside without knowing the sound that it was supposed to play. Tony told us that you were the only one who would know the song. Oh. I'm sorry, I can't remember it either. Well, thank you for your efforts. I'm sorry I couldn't have been more I couldn't have been more helpful. Oh, there's a door. <gasps> Maybe we can go to the old man in the first universe. Christy, wake up. Come on, Christy, let's go play. A snow globe from Switzerland. A young girl's diary. Open it? Yeah, man. The journal is locked. There's a note taped to the side. Yeah. Penny, you better not try to read my diary. There's girl stuff in here, so keep out. Love, Christy. <laughs> A young adult novel about detective solving a murder mystery. I hope we are not solving a murder mystery. A basket filled with laundry. Look through it? Yeah. There's nothing in here but laundry. <laughs> a stack of school books. Something is written on the back cover of one of them. 
Read it? Yeah. Dad was wrong. Okay. That wasn't depressing. Uh, top drawer. Um, uh, note tucked between the pair of white socks. Read it? Yeah. Hi, Christy. You'll never believe what I found today in your room. Another secret passage in the wall. See if you can find it. If you can't, ask me, and I'll tell you. Love, Benny. P.S. I was only in your room because O.G. was hiding under your bed, and I didn't want to read, and I didn't read your diary. Um, top right drawer. Neatly folded clothes in the drawer. You see something shiny underneath one of the skirts. You, yeah. You found 5G. I just stole money. Bottom drawer. Bottom drawer is locked. Okay, so there's a secret thing in here. Um, one book is slightly out of place. Look behind it. Yep. You find a letter between that has been wedged between the books. Read it? Yeah. Dear Christy, this place is pretty neat after all. The house is big with lots of rooms to explore. Some of the doors are locked, though. And the outside part is really big. And the river is even... And an even waterfall. And today, Mommy found a turtle. Anyways, when you get back from school, we should go play. I have lots to show you. Love, Benny. Um, okay. There's a TV here. Yes. It seems to be broken. A teddy bear. Oh, it's red. A girl's winter coat. Yep. There's nothing inside except for old faded movie ticket. Okay. Let's uh, head out. The door is locked. Okay, let's not head out. Um, what did I not check? The bed. I have not slept in the bed. I have slept in the bed. Uh, I already did that. Wait. What? I knew that was there. Yeah, I wasn't trying to click on the bookshelf. There's a letter on the floor. Read it? Yeah. Dear Christy, how's my little girl? Are you helping your mother around the house? Are you getting good grades? When I come home, I'll be bringing you a special present for being so good. Love, Dad. Uh-oh. I'm scared. That looks creepy. A lovely painting of a woman. The name Bonnie is written on the frame. There's something etched into the left side of the frame. Look. Don't go back. Um, the door is locked. Well, now I don't want to go back. Top drawer. The drawer is filled with letters, postcards, addressed to several different states. Middle drawer. You found Chrissy's dresser key. Bottom drawer. You found a photograph of a man sending it. Yeah. St. Louis. First grade. Great, we're gonna have to go back now. Box wrapped in packaging tape. There's something written on the side. Read it? Yeah. Delivery to Culver City CA 13. Well, we're going back. Sorry. Benny was not there before. I don't remember that airplane being there. It might have been, but uh, we're going back. You found passage key. Okay, time to go. Use passage key, sweet. Aw, oh, son of a nutcracker. You found Christy. Wait, there's something else inside. What is it? Hmm, it looks like a letter that never got sent. Got a stamp on it and everything. For Tony only, it says. Maybe we'd better not open that. It could hold a... We can hold on to it and give it to Tony next time we see him. What about this weird drawing in the letter? Is attached to? What is it? Ah, uh, well now. I'm not totally sure. 
If I had to guess, I'd say it looks like a set of plans for building wings, don't you think? I definitely draw it's definitely drawn by a little kid. Look what's written on the back. I want to see him. I have to build wings. Hmm. Let's study these plans. Maybe we can use them to build our own wings using materials from around this house. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Here are our plan. Here are the plans. Whoa. How to build wings by Christy. Blue. Wait. Six feathers. Eight sticks. Blue. Backpack straps and fly to daddy. Okay. Wait. Got it. Next thing. A uh, toy train named Benny on there. Who the heck is Benny? Oh, okay. Let's just go now. Now let's go back. Because now... Ah, oh, I messed up. I'm checking that pile, whether you guys want me to or not. A teddy bear with a note attached. Read note? Yes. Dear Christy, I got you this bear from a shop in Oregon. Take care of it for me till I get back, okay? Love, Dad. Okay. Let's go. What's in this again? We already searched all those, that's right. Read it, yeah. Okay. Oh. Benny was here. He found a feather. You found sticks. You're scaring me, Benny. Maybe we can get out now? Use Christie's room key to unlock the door. Shh, careful, Christy. Do you see them? There's so many fish. I want to eat them all. <laughs> Good enough. We're going to be very quiet. We're going to listen very carefully. When the time is right, you'll know it. But what if I don't know it? You will. Look, Christy. Do you see it? Where? No. I don't see it yet. No, I don't see it yet. Oh, it's a big fishy. I see it now. Get ready. And remember what I taught you. You did it! My little girl caught her first fish. Daddy, I did it! I caught a fish! I knew you could do it. I'm so proud of you. go ahead and save. It's got the creepy music going again. Okay. So, Tony is Christina's dad. Door is locked. Let's go downstairs then. Um, let's go in here. Box is locked. Box is locked. Use the switches in this room. Turn the corresponding power sources. Those power sources are color-coded and located throughout the house. Different on and off combinations will affect different things around the house. Well guys, I think this is a pretty good time to stop this episode right before we get into the main puzzle. So yeah, I know it's a really short episode, but it's pretty late for me, so I'm pretty tired. I don't want to go to bed, so I'm going to go to bed. But I really do like this game, and I, I'm liking Tony's story so far. It's a very sweet story. Um, 
So yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, bye.